I, I, am, I am such an idiot. I really am. It's taken me until this moment right now to realize that no Spencer will ever truly accept me, not even my own mother. Don't bring mom into this. I twisted myself into knots for you for years. Yeah, and you let us believe all along that you were nothing like your grandmother or, or your father or any of them. Again, I'm not, a, I'm not apologizing for my birthright. I'm not. I, I actually let myself believe that it was better to be accepted by a Spencer than be true to myself. But I'm not taking second place anymore. I'm not, I'm not deferring to you or anyone else in your family. Those days are over. Well, at least we're finally getting down to the truth of it. <laughs> now, some part of you has hated me all along. I forget to be... Wait. Do you, you know what's... Do you know what's sickening about this whole thing? I really did love you. I did. I, I did everything humanly possible to be a worthy brother to you. And you were. For a long time. And then you suddenly decided that your grief and confusion were so unique and profound that, that, that it justified you stabbing me in the back. No, no. Hold, hold on. Don't kid yourself, Lucky. You, you and Elizabeth were in trouble long before I came along. She had real questions about marrying. Yeah, and you never told me that. Because you didn't want to know. You manipulated her by playing on her guilt and loyalty. You refused to see what was staring you right in your damn I, face, I Lucky. I refused to see that you were screwing her behind my I'm back, so Nicholas. That's what I refused really, to see. Really? I had people dropping hints left and right. I had signs all over the place. And I refused to see what was staring me right in the face because I loved you. Because you were my brother. I refused to see that you're a treacherous, lying bastard without a moral bone in your body. But it's not surprising, is it? I mean, your father kidnapped our mother, oh, well, held her captive, don't forced don't her to that. carry well, his own child. We, don't talk about fathers who commit rape. That's one fight you can't win. You know what, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna travel the same sorry road that my dad went down with your family. I mean, it costs everyone years of their lives and a whole lot of pain. I never thought that would happen with us. So good to see you. Thank you. Listen, Christina's out there by herself, so I can't stay too long. What, you, she came here to see Michael? Yeah. What is he doing anyway? He's been better. You look really beautiful. Wow. Compliments and all. Listen no, to I you. I mean it. Okay, um, I really wanted to bring you some good news, but it didn't quite work out that way. Oh, I applied for conjugal visits and I was denied. Because I'm a security risk? No. Because we're not married. And I, I promise I'll have everything done by tomorrow. Okay, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, right, sorry. Hi. Hi. Um, do you have a second? Sure, what's up? It's about Brooklyn. Um, have you ever heard her sing? <laughs> a long time ago. She's pretty good. Yeah, well, apparently she's amazing. I guess last night she blew the house away at Jake's. Really? Yeah. Coleman must have loved that, huh? Well, the audience did. And, and, I don't know, I was, I was thinking maybe you would be interested in having her perform at the Metro Court. You know what? You could, um, like, help me out over here. Oh, this is great. I like that. I feel right at home. You do the cooking, I'll, I'll clean everything up. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. You obviously know your way around the kitchen. And so do you. And you know what? So does your father, actually. Because my grandma, she used to tell me stories, right, about how he was always in the kitchen. I think he used to cook, I think it was my godmother, Brenda, and he cooked for my mom, too, I'm pretty sure. You know, my son is actually an amazing cook, almost a chef. I mean, the guy makes his own pasta. It's a whole different side of that guy when I was working on a cover. Obviously, before I found out he was my father. Yeah, you know what, um... Must be kind of complicated. No, you know what? Sonny is a criminal. And he's hurt a lot of people. And I gotta put him away. That you do, but... He 
don't have to put him away tonight, detective. Relax. Johnny is starting a war. Sonny, I don't want to hear it. If you kill Johnny, Dante's going to have to come after Dante's you. Dante's going to come after me no matter what happens. Just go to Bensonhurst and, you know, for a couple, you know, a little bit of time, maybe you can cut some hair. It's do not going to happen. Well, if, if Johnny keeps getting in my face, I'm not going to let him do that. You, so, so, you, so you're pushing his buttons? If he keeps doing what he's doing, then it, it will be in self-defense. Filthy business. And this is the thing, Olivia. I'm going to win. He, Johnny can keep getting in my face, laughing at me, whatever he wants to do. The cops may help me, they may not help me. Either way, sooner or later, I will see Johnny Zakara dead. 